guys back with another short video on thermal testing this time uh, uh, on the AC adapter using an AC adapter sorry uh, my other two videos I tested benchmarked here uh, against the battery only and uh, one of the guys Etienne Wiljar from the YouTube site commented to test it with the AC adapter uh, we may get more performance out of it so um, Gonna do a short video on this and run you through this. Um, so we got Cinebench uh, open on my Dell SPS. Uh, it's a iCore 7, uh, 10750H, six, 6 cores running at 2.6 gigahertz, uh, 16 gigs of memory. It's, it has a GeForce uh, 1650 Ti graphics card. Um, I have um, HW Info open. The application which helps you benchmark uh, and get stats of your CPUs and uh, your graphics cards. So at the moment it's at 100, uh, 800 megahertz around. It keeps jumping up and down. There's a uh, task manager. Uh, let's see what's going on. Uh, it's down um, on and off down to more way. Keeps coming out. So there's nothing open that much. Um, Going to put the battery. Or the power power which is connected to the AC adapter onto best performance mode this time. Um, let's see the wattage. Okay, so on the new CPU cores, uh, you got the. Uh, this is the um, AC adapter which is using 107 watts, and this is the the above one. Yeah, it's the graphics card, I guess, which is using 68 watts. Um, I've got graphics, um, uh, graphics card, card monitoring tool, GPU Z, open, um, of the 1650 Ti. So those are the specs. Uh, I'm going to put it onto the sensors for graphical reading. Um, okay, so CPU, as you can see, CPU temperature is. Uh, around 50 now, uh, GPU is 43. Okay, let's skip this back. Okay, uh, and there's no currently there's no throttling on on uh, core 0 to 5, and the temperatures are uh, about halfway uh, up here. Oh. So it starts to cause zero to go five, and you've got more down here. Uh, it gets a bit techy up there. Um, okay, right. So what I'm gonna do? Apologies for that. Is um, run a benchmark. Go to advanced benchmark. This time I'm gonna normally this is unchecked. I'm going to check a single CPU single core uh, on and just feel it. Okay, it feels okay. It's been all right. It's a little bit warm here because it's charging, but um, it's more warm here than up there. Um, okay, and let's run the test. So, okay, that's running. Open Geo, the test. Okay, let's have a look at the HW. Okay, now, uh, as you can see here, that's 4.7. So, core one, it jumps up and down these values, megahertz. That's that's, that's the maximum limit. Uh, getting 4,500 to 4,788 megahertz. Um, then you here's for yeah you're getting a higher higher percentage. Now it's going over four thousand. Um, on the battery it didn't go over four thousand I think. So um, that's a good percentage increase. Um, okay, let's test what's happening on this side. Uh, okay, core five is eighty degrees. What's eighty degrees? Okay, seventy five, eighty six, and now it's hitting. Okay, now it's hitting. Uh, firm and throttling mode, so it's okay. And it's running, yeah, it's running in this picture in the background. 
let's get back to here um, okay so you, as you see it's throttling uh, and temperatures going sky high let's look at the power consumption uh, let's do 100 yeah okay the CPU package is 100 IO cars 100 okay so it's just it's not using the maximum 130 watts here from the AC adapter uh, 60 watts 63 watts from the um, uh, GPU that's got oh, so 100 and oh, okay 101 is maximum package CPU temperature is down there um, okay let's measure this so keep on the throttling scores uh, I'm gonna check out the GPU chart let's see, let's see this Oh, so you see see by this chart here it's going up to 100 um, GPU is 70 70 Celsius uh, at the moment it's using 5 gigabytes of system memory used uh, uh, the GPU clock speed yeah, let's go back here it's still uh, full 100, full 100, uh, 4100, the current speed for all the calls around. Let's you know, it's randomly go up and down. And this is the, at the moment, this is the single call rendering test. So, uh, um, okay, this is, the, uh, the, yeah, it's a single call, it's doing it in single call. So, up here, you should see it does one call at a time so um, yeah the temperatures you see the rise in the temperatures let's see. so let's see. Oh. okay let's find it Okay, he's just monitoring the temperatures. Uh, what we want to do. Okay. So how's it finished now? Okay. Yep. Yeah, one cause night five. You can see when it highlights the cause, it goes ninety nine percent. It stays. The other one stays around seventy five ish. CPU package is ninety. 90s, yeah, 96, well, 99 is, it's still running in the background, you can see here, oh well, I can see it in the back running uh, at the top, and there's a little bit of throttling on some, some of the cores, but it, it throttles up and down, uh, it doesn't stay there permanently. Okay, so how's that finish? Well, it's still running. Okay, going back here, 100 degrees still. It gives you graphical charts. Any change to the power voltage? Okay, it's dropped. Uh, you see the CPU1 dropped to 45 watts on the single core tests. Oh. Okay, that's that's uh, one for to keep an eye on. Okay, I think this is finished. So it's finished, guys. And uh, what we have for the single CPU core is I got one hundred eighty-seven. It might be more or less the same on your system, your SPS. It's just a four K touchscreen. Um, OpenGL graphics 122 um, frames per second, which is which is great. Uh, yeah, Open OpenGL 122 confirmed that. Uh, it's got more techie details underneath there. Now uh, you can pause it and uh, have a look at it. Um, reference match. Okay, so reference match OpenGL. We're about fifth place in that list. No, right. Um, 
Okay, so you're, we're, we're competing with high-end graphics cards here. Um, well, CPU here is uh, that's the multi-core one. It's uh, twelve thousand. Oh, no, not twelve thousand. One thousand two hundred and two. Um, Okay, uh, yeah. I, I think you can go in for, choose more info here, but I'm not going to do that. Um, okay, 100 uh, for single one is 187, which is pretty good above these all these other CPUs. And the multi processor ratio is further than this, which is running out there. So we get about a 6.44 ratio, I think. Uh, for this and then multi-processor ratio is six point yeah six point four four times yeah uh, okay so uh, that's the summary and I'll finish this test so uh, I love having this SPS um, okay how does it feel I don't I didn't hear no fans go off when running those tests it was so you know, except for the hoover that's going off in the other room that's louder than the fans. Um, it's okay. I mean, it's quiet. Quiet for a laptop. It does get hot. A little bit hot because I think it's the monitor and the airflow coming at the, the back of the unit uh, to the screen. Um, it's just the top, top bit is okay. So about here here it's warm warmish but not baking hot it's not it's just warm so there's warm air flowing from here uh, a little bit of what you can hear a little bit of warm here here so uh, for this some reason this side which I'm touching is producing more heat a more warm airflow here and then you get a little bit of heat from this side maybe the battery is it has to charge the battery um going from left to right or um the components are hotter in this and it has to reach to the right hand side uh at the moment yeah okay it's, it's a bit warm the keyboard but if you touch it it's not um i'm putting my palm palm here uh i hope i don't get electric or die from it or but um it's it's warm and the keys are the keys are nice i was worrying about the heat would melt the keys but uh it's not gonna do that um i this is just a benchmark on a short benchmark i don't know if you're doing like long hours of video uh, rendering um if you're uploading a video i i i did see uh the same performance uh got to 4300 megahertz or uh yeah it does boost to here, here. Um, uh, all these cores will be go going off like um, yeah, going up to the four thousand marks when you're uploading YouTube videos or rendering YouTube um, and rendering videos and so on. Uh, if you're doing uh, action performance tasks, the CPU rates will go high. Um, yeah, that's that's it, guys. So thank you very much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I catch you later. And I. Bye bye SPS um, 15. If you got any recommendations of uh, what uh, yeah, what next laptop I should get, it would be great to hear your feedback. I'm thinking of the SPS 17 as my main laptop, but uh, I'm, I'm just going to return this now and uh, get that refund and then decide what laptop I'm going to get and um, hopefully do some new tests on new laptop and see how that performs all right take it easy have a great day bye